Hey YouTube, it's Prep for Life. I wanted to bring a new flashlight to you. This thing's a little bit out of the ordinary for some of the tactical lights I've done in the past. Uh, Nightcore just recently released this TUP, or what they call the TUP. Somewhat unconventional when you contrast that with something like, you know, the, the tactical light right here, but interesting enough that I wanted to bring it to your attention. So let's go ahead and unbox it, show you what's in there, and then I'm gonna go through some of these features because I think this is a lot more like, um, almost like a smart, everyday tactical light or a smart EDC light. And I'll show you why. So let's jump in. So here's what we've got inside. Now, this comes in two colors. I ended up getting the metallic gray. I just think that looks really, really cool. It does come in a black as well, so whatever your preference is. Got our USB charging right there. Got our LED right here. And that is a Cree XPL HD V6 LED. May not mean a lot to some of you guys, it's a nice, clear, consistent LED. It does come with a pocket clip included, which is really kind of cool. This is a low profile or low rise pocket clip, which means it's gonna sit nice and low in your pocket. Uh, additionally, because it's facing forward, I could actually put that onto the brim of a hat, for example. What's really interesting on this thing, and we're gonna delve in a little bit, this is an OLED panel. So this is gonna give you a ton of information about the battery life, what mode you're in, Again, this is why I call this kind of a smart everyday carry light because it's just gonna give you a ton of information as you go through. You get your power, you get your mode, we'll jump into those. Uh, and then of course, you've got your ring right here. It is gonna come with a key ring attachment. It's small enough, you could probably throw that on your key ring or that could be your key ring. Clip that to a backpack, do whatever you want with it. Um, I actually prefer pocket carry, so that's probably what I'm gonna be doing. But I did read that this lanyard right here, that loop, is actually rated to 30 kilograms, which is roughly about 66 pounds just over. Uh, so that thing is definitely you know, incorporated into the frame and that can hold quite a bit. Um, I don't know that this is going to be as rugged as some of the others that we've encountered. I mean, it's very, very light, which I do like. It is made with a, an aluminum alloy. So it should withstand a lot. It shouldn't just break right out of the box. I'm not concerned about that. I do see some seams here. So main concern would just be about like overall ruggedness. I think this is gonna be more for me like an everyday carry as opposed to like, I'm taking this out as a workhorse and it's just gonna you know take a beating for me. But that's essentially, that's the flashlight itself. As I pointed out, you've got your little lanyard ring right there. That's gonna come with it. You've got a micro USB charging cable. Uh, which again, I love that this is not a proprietary cable, that this is actually a micro USB because that means I can plug this in. You know, we've got micro USB laying around everywhere. So wherever I need to charge, if I'm in a hotel room or, or traveling, very cool. I just plug that in, give it a top off. And then of course the rest is just going to be your documentation, your how-to, things like that. Let's dig into this thing. You've got a turbo mode of up to a thousand lumens which for a light this size is fantastic. Now it's not gonna run forever. You're basically looking at 15 minutes if I were to run consistently at 1,000 lumens, and then your high mode is gonna be 200 lumens. You get about three hours out of that on a full charge. Mid range is 65 lumens, that's nine hours, 45 minutes. 15 lumens on a low mode, and that's 19 hours, and then you do have an ultra low one lumen mode, kind of that moonlight mode, this thing can go for a consistent 70 hours if you just left it in uh, in one lumen low mode. So that's pretty cool. It is one meter impact resistant. It's what they're saying on their website. So again, it's aluminum alloy. Uh, and so it should be able to take some drops. I just, again, I don't think this is gonna be a complete like whipping horse for me that I can just beat down. And as far as your water resistance, you're at an IP54 rating which is really more around dust and particles. It's not necessarily supposed to be waterproof, you know, based on the standardized rating system, um, but splash proof, for example. So I, I wouldn't necessarily worry about taking this out in a rainstorm uh, or, you know, getting it wet, but I don't know that I'm really gonna do an underwater test with this just because it's not really rated to be a waterproof flashlight like some of the other tactical flashlights, okay? where you're gaining your advantage over some of the more tactical flashlights is going to be into the smart modes. So if I go into my power here, okay, you're gonna notice that little number one. This flashlight has two lockout modes. So in lockout mode one, the power button is not gonna be able to activate the flashlight as you're seeing right there. As many times as I press that, it's just not gonna work. But if I press and hold, 
I get direct access to the thousand lumen mode, kind of that turbo mode. So the, the lockout one's kind of a nice little pocket carry mode, meaning it's not just gonna get set off in my pocket. The, the power button's not just gonna keep getting hit. A full lockout is when it says number two, both buttons are actually unavailable. That's if I wanna like pack it into like a backpack or, or throw it in somewhere where it's really gonna get rattled around. So to get that out of mode, I'm gonna short press and then long press the power. And there we go, do you see the lock? So now I'm ready to go. The power button should work in that mode. So now I've got my one lumen. That's what I, I guess is coming on. I can push the mode button to cycle through. Okay, there's each of my modes. Except turbo. Now if I wanna access turbo, I'm on, let's say ultra low one lumen. Press and hold the mode button and that accesses directly. If I turn this off, so now I'm no longer in that mode. Uh, I can press and hold and that directly accesses. So no matter where I am, if I need to get into turbo on or off, I press and hold this mode button and that's gonna take me there. This also comes with two different modes, demo and daily, okay? So right now I'm in demo mode, which means that if I turn this on, it's gonna stay on, you know, it'll, it'll work for me, but it has a 30 second countdown which means that if nothing happens within 30 seconds, you can see it in the bottom left corner there, if nothing happens, it's gonna shut that light off. So it's a nice battery saver. I press both together and it's gonna switch into daily mode. Daily means that no matter where I'm at, I need to manually turn it off. Again, I am turned off right now, which means I can access both of the special modes, ultra low or ultra high, just by the, the button that I press. So if I press and hold the mode right here, I access a thousand lumens directly. Very, very cool. If I press and hold the on switch right here, that's gonna direct access me into the one lumen mode. So I'm in 200 lumen mode right now. I turn it off. Press and hold power to access my one lumen. So there it is right there, turn it off. And it should now remember that I was in 200 before. That is fantastic. So it's got a great memory. This is the other thing I love. Like I said, it's a ton of information that you're getting off of there. Right now it's giving me the time remaining on that mode. So right now I'm in mode one, I'm sorry, in ultra low, which is the one lumen, it's giving me 68 hours left in that mode. If I bump it up to 15 lumens, that's level two, as you can see, but that's 18 hours. Level three is 65 lumens and I got nine hours left in that. And level four, 200 lumens, I got two hours, uh, almost three left. I just find that really, really cool. What also makes this nice is you have a built-in lithium ion battery. Uh, as they, they say on their website, it's a 1200 milliamp. That's equivalent, as they say, to about two of the CR123 batteries. Uh, you also have an advanced power cutoff, or APC, which means that it's actually gonna negate the parasitic drain of the battery, uh, which means you can carry this a whole lot longer. And then lastly, this has built in an advanced temperature regulation. So it means that it's not gonna burn itself out. It's smart enough not to damage itself. So those are the specs regarding the TUP. Again, I think there's pros and cons to this light, depending on what you're looking for in an everyday carry. It's small enough, be perfect in like a purse if you want, uh, into a pocket, on a key ring. I think there's a lot of different options for this. For some of you that are just out there working in the elements all day, this may not be the light for you. It's not gonna be built as rugged as some of the other 18650 lights out there, but this is gonna give me insight into the battery, into the runtime that I've never gotten off of a flashlight before. So if, if that's big to you, if you always wanna know how much time you have left, what mode you're in, this is gonna be your flashlight. So in terms of price, you're looking about 65 bucks is what you're gonna find this on uh, on Amazon for. I'm gonna put a link down below. One is gonna to be to Nightcore's website if you want a little bit more spec, if you wanna take a look at some promotional photos of these, they're, they're pretty cool. Uh, the other is gonna to be directly to Amazon. If you wanna take a look at the, the light cost, see some of the different packages that, that are offered, you know. It's definitely something to consider. Uh, again, I don't think it's the best flashlight I've seen out there, but for $65 for an intelligent, smart carry light, I do think it's worth it. I don't think that that's overpriced. I think for a thousand lumen pocket carry flashlight that's rechargeable through micro USB, 
Uh, definitely going to be some value in this light, definitely something to check out. So go ahead and leave me your thoughts and comments below. I hope you found some value in this video, and uh, please remember to like and subscribe. Add me to your list so you can be notified of uh, further videos that we put out. Thanks for watching.